Meantime, it is destined to be a crowded weekend along the coast as well. Local officials are already, though, putting their foot down on any illegal parties or events that might pop up on the beach. Crystal. Yeah, Bridget, like Candace said earlier, it's going to be a sunny holiday weekend. We've heard warnings from two coastal cities about the kind of events that will not be allowed. Let's check in with reporter Mark Lehman in Daytona Beach, where leaders sent out a PSA. Yeah, the city putting out a message about heavy traffic throughout Daytona Beach. And while things are quiet right now, as we're seeing a gorgeous sunrise right off the coast, so the sand is expected to be packed with people and cars this weekend. Leaders are also warning uh, that everyone, uh, warning everyone about pop-up events that could cause some trouble. Now, this is what we saw last year in Daytona Beach for Memorial Day weekend. The deputies were patrolling as people flooded the coast. This year, law enforcement are again issuing a warning about the crowds. Daytona Beach police say there are planned events like graduations this weekend, but two unsanctioned events are also expected to happen. Those could cause problems. And with that in mind, police are encouraging residential uh, business and graduation traffic to use the Main Street Bridge. Now, that's where officers will be staffed to manage the flow of cars. Meanwhile, Cocoa Beach is also putting out a warning. The city post Seen this message on Facebook saying they've been made aware of an illegal special event called Beach Day Party on Saturday. Officials say it's unpermitted and they'll be doubling the fines for traffic violations as well as possibly towing vehicles. The city says there will be strict enforcement of all rules, including arrests, as appropriate. Now, as for the situation here in Daytona Beach, uh, the city has encouraged every, everyone to act uh, appropriately and says uh, that uh, police will be staffed as needed to uh, manage criminal and disruptive activity. For now, reporting live in Daytona Beach, Mark Lehman getting results. News 6.